You don't look so good. Code blue, code blue. What's going on? I just came in to check on him. He said he wasn't feeling good. He's very sweaty. Um, his SVO2 was at 88. Um, and all of a sudden he just went into a cardiac arrest. One of the roles of respiratory therapists, especially in the hospital setting, is to do rescue. And especially a patient in cardiac arrest or in respiratory arrest. And they'll get called to the scene. Now most of the time we participate primarily in airway management. But in these kind of scenarios, everybody who participates needs to know what everybody else is doing. And so they're, they're not only learning their the skills that they need to participate on the team, but also they're learning leadership skills. So in case they have to uh, actually take charge so in certain peep. settings, uh, that they know how to do that. Time or they can two. give suggestions sometimes. Uh, not everybody always has the right thing to do. Uh, these kind of scenarios are often very chaotic, and the person in charge doesn't always think of everything. So everybody on the team needs to know what they need to do over 50. You saved him, but boy, it was Barely. close. <laughs> Very close. That's a patient's life. So if you panic, you're in trouble. If you stay calm, you might actually have a good Never outcome. Be able to focus clearly. You've got to be able to to think quickly and and react quickly and, and know what you're doing. Practice. 